Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Siren, and welcome back to what's probably going to be a pretty short video, I think, because this mission we should be able to do pretty quickly. Um, the challenge in this mission, the second objective, the challenge in this one is figuring out where exactly you have to go, because where you have to go ends up being the direction that you don't want to go in. But once you figure that out, you can do it pretty fast. We're going back to one of Risa's missions. Risa, of course, as we know, as we last saw her, is a Shibito now. But we're going back to her last mission, in which she was in the Miata Clinic, because she was spurred by something within her, and she explored the Dim Hospital. We now know that the thing that was spurred, that was within her, was her mental link to her twin, I guess. Because apparently the way she became a Shibito was because she had a mental connection with Mina, and that began to Shibito... Shibit Shibitoize her? How you might say that, maybe? The darkness echoes with the voice of Mina, calling Risa's name over and over. Risa, she, Risa sees Mina. She's no longer quite human. So it's day one, 22 o'clock. We're going to do this mission. So in the first time we did this, we were walking all over the Miata Clinic, trying to find a way to warn Kay and Shiro that there were Shibito about. So we've explored most of this place. So that means, since we have to find something else, Is that you? we have to go in a direction that we have not tried yet. <gasps> and that would be the direction that Mina is coming from. Ah! Right, we had to warn them of approaching enemies, but what about objective number two? We have to find the Relief of Angels. So, we, like I said, we've explored most of this clinic, and we didn't see anything like that. We could go back to the hints to see what it might have to say about what we need to do. Bring this up. The clue that we need to be looking at is, let's see, there it is. Elder Sister gets confused by smoke. That's the only clue we have. We have to confuse Mina somehow. Mina, however you might want to pronounce it. And we're going to start off... Oh, first of all, we're going to start off by noticing this hint. To unlock another stage, we have to search the inner courtyard, in addition to finding the Relief of Angels. But besides that, we're going to start off by running away from Mina, as we did last time. Just going to run up here. And of course, last time we did go through this door, which is going to take us to the rest of the clinic, which is how we eventually find the alarm system that we use to warn Kay and Shiro. And there they are, just having their old conversation, not a care in the world. But that is not what we're going to be concerned with this time. Right now, we're going to be concerned with Mina walking away very slowly. Because like I said, we've explored most of the clinic. What we haven't explored is the hallway that Mina is walking down. So let's see, uh, we want to go to floor one. So you can see the flashing arrows there. That's where we started, and that's where Mina is walking right now. We went up the stairs to the lower left, but we haven't explored the hallway and those rooms that Mina is walking around in. So we need to do that. But how do we do that? Because Mina will kill Risa very quickly. Um, Risa really stands no chance. Mina is, I think, the strongest Shibito that we do encounter, not including any kind of boss enemy. Uh, and Risa is one of the weakest characters that we can use. So what do we do? Well, it's said that the elder sister is confused by smoke. So the thing that we have to notice is that one of the items on the map is a fire extinguisher, and it is in the hallway that Mina is walking up and down in. It's easy to miss that. But that is going to be the key to this. It's not... I mean, it doesn't fire smoke. That's not what comes out of a fire extinguisher. But I guess it's close enough. We're going to have to use that fire extinguisher to confuse Mina. But before we do that, we have to wait for her to get far enough down the hallway. 
Because if she notices us before we're ready, again, we don't stand a chance. We won't have to sound the alarm after this either. We won't have to alert Kay and Shiro about enemies. All we have to do is find this relief of angels. Oh, and there's the fire extinguisher in the lower left. Mina's walking right by it right now. Alright, and then she turns around to see if we're there. And that's about enough time. Okay, let's walk down here. First, we need to get into this closet to get the umbrella that we used last time we were in this level. Again, it doesn't make such a good weapon, but it's the best we have. It's the only thing that we can use right now. Now, let's slowly walk up to Mina, who, yeah, she's at the end of the hallway right now. Let's see if we can do this. There's the fire extinguisher. There it is. And we could pull out the pin, but before we do that, let's uh let's get Mina closer to us. Hello. Yep, here she comes. <laughs> All right, that's going to confuse Mina, and I am going to like get behind her and just start whacking her with this umbrella. Now, yeah, and she doesn't see me, so she's... Oh, did that take her down? That took her down, and we got an achievement. I've kept the achievements turned off so far, but I saw that there was an achievement for doing that. Beating down Mina with the umbrella. But before we actually do what we need to do, let's head out into the courtyard, because remember it did say we can unlock a level by exploring the courtyard... And that's what we're doing out here. And that spider is knocked out, because I knocked out Meaner. And what we have to look at is right this. We don't have a whole lot of time to actually explore the place. So, we gotta know, we gotta go to this garbage chute. We gotta open it up. And because we open it up... Because we opened it up, we're gonna help out Shiro in day two, zero o'clock. We'll find out what that's all about later on. But right now, we don't have a whole lot of time to explore because Mina's going to get back up. And we want to get back in in here before she does that. Because what we need to do is get in here. One of the few rooms that Risa has not explored in this level. And we're going to notice that, hey, that bed is... Kind of moving around on its own. Something underneath those sheets. Something is moving under the sheet. And of course, we're going to remove those sheets and see what it is. it it's the relief of angels it's been added to the archive and since we found it that means the mission two has been accomplished i guess after this risa then keeps going exploring the miata clinic until she finds that alarm that she uses to warn k and shiro and you might remember that little scare right there of having moving sheets, then you pull it off and there's an inanimate object underneath. You might remember that being used again in Deadly Premonition. In a scene that's very similar to what we just saw, so I don't know if that was a direct reference or what. Because it's close enough that it could be, but I don't know if it was. Um, and like I said, I've kept the achievements turned off for this LP. I, I, just I just do that normally. I usually don't have the achievements turned on. But I just turned it on for this one because I saw there was an achievement for knocking out Mina with Risa and the Umbrella. And after that, we're going to see what Naoko's been up to. Day two, three in the morning.
Eternal youth. Eternal youth. Eternal youth. Eternal youth. Eternal youth. youth. Well, it seems that after a couple of days of wandering around with no food or drink, fighting off murderous zombies, I guess Naoko just lost all hope and remembered what Akira told her about being able to live forever. So Naoko just decided to walk straight on into that spring of red water and disappeared underneath the surface. But now we have her junior high school yearbook. And with that, that's it for today's video of Siren. Short video, but kind of eventful, as uh, things kind of went all the way bad for Naoko in the end there. But it's not the last time we're going to see her, just maybe the last time we'll see her like that um and we did get the relief of angels in the miata clinic for whatever reason we might need that it's an archive item so we'll be taking a look at that and also now goes yearbook next time and what happens next time is i believe we have if i'm remembering this right i believe we have an original mission as we're going back to tomoko as Tomoko is continuing her quest to try to find her parents, who are currently at the church. She's still looking for them, and I think that's where we're going to pick up next time. So, I'll see you then.